All right, guys, the grand reveal. Wait until you see. Hey, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Been super crazy busy. Show you what we've been working on. Uh, we basically got our basement finished um, at our home, and uh, we got some really cool record shelves built to start putting our collection on. Uh, right now, our record collection is literally inside of like a eight by 10 room. So now we got a lot more room. Let's take a look. That, wow, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of echoey down here. We just got the basement finished, guys. And uh, yeah, how many records can we fit on this? I don't know, that's gonna be exciting though, right? Pretty cool. Solid built into the wall. Um, shout out to our contractor, Terry. He did a fantastic job. Even put the molding on the bottom and then also on the top. Pretty exciting, guys. This has been a project we've been working on and we are excited to fill it up with our record collection. There's a lot. So right now we have records literally everywhere. Um, we just started moving things down here. There's literally just, I got vinyl all through here. I got records all through here. And this isn't even um, our categorized collection yet. This is just stuff that we've acquired that we haven't even put into our Discogs or anything yet. Let me turn the light on over here. So we plan to uh, start going through each one, put them in our Discogs, and then put them up on the wall. That's our plan. So... And we just got just lots and lots of vinyl. And then I think we're going to put, I think I might put a drum set here, which I'm thinking about. And then we're going to put furniture. Furniture's coming next week. It's going to go up through here. We'll have like a big screen TV. Um, and then a bunch of our, my retro game collection. I'm probably going to put in this area here. Um, so yeah, pretty cool guys. Just wanted to take a moment to show you our new shelves here. We got lights that can shine on the records, which is really cool. We got dimmer lights all installed in the basement now. So yeah, we're pretty excited to start putting everything into our collection and start uh, spinning records down here. All right guys, so we're upstairs and the collection room, which is a mess, by the way. Um, and yeah, I'm so, we're suffering from the same thing every record collector suffers from, running out of room up here. Records spilling onto the floor. It's, uh, stuff's piling up. Turntables getting buried. You know how it goes, guys. So what we're doing is we're moving one box at a time or one cube at a time down from the upstairs all the way to the basement. And it's a lot of work, a lot of work. And then we gotta go over and get all these records over here that are all down over there. Gotta move all of our retro video game collection down there. I also collect Nintendo, Sega, some old toys. I'm a big Ninja Turtles freak. We got more records over here. This room's a mess, guys, I apologize. And we gotta move this monster down there to the basement at some point too, which is gonna not be fun. These old tube TVs are just awful. They're great for retro gaming, but they are awful to move. I mean, they are just, they are just a bear. And this is one of the Trenotrons. It weighs like 350 pounds or something. If you guys got an idea on how to move that easily, let me know. I'm thinking about like an appliance dolly, try to strap it on there, I don't know. It is a monster though. It's going to suck. <laughs> so, all right, let's fill up another box. Get another box. I, I'm trying to pay attention to how I put them in this box because it's sort of alphabetized. Not super alphabetized, but it's like all the Bs are in the B section, all the Cs in the C section, etc. So, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, do you want help her? Yep. Yep. Ow. You good? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Let me grab my box of records here. All right. The box of records here. 
We had a spill on aisle five. <laughs> All these band records came out of the box set. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. man, it's all good. Here, I'll carry him out here. If you can get the rest. Okay. Well, that's heavy. Right? She's been my helper. You've been my helper. Oh, oh gosh, there it goes again. <laughs> hey, at least we're keeping this. Yeah. A couple dents, who cares? Where should I put it? Like, right here? No, nah, not here. I'll put it up there. So we're starting to put them up here. Summer's helping me out here. Danny's on a field trip right now. Yeah. With our middle son. Had the Baltimore Zoo today. Pretty cool. Um, so I started putting these up here. This is pretty great. A through Z. They fit perfect, man. I'm really, really happy. Like the measurement and everything. I don't have to put nothing behind them. It's just like, it's just, it's perfect. But when I carry them down, I got to basically remember how they were on the, the cubes up there. This was the, let me see. I started from the back of it to the front so then when I put them on the shelf they got to go up on the shelf just like this to stay alphabetized which has kind of been Where kind of confusing these guys? you want to put them up there can you reach Boy. I don't think you're gonna be able to reach those probably they can go away here yeah probably but this this will be nice though like so sets like this like big box sets I might just put them like right up on top here probably look pretty cool now uh, you can just leave it there for now. We gotta put those other ones back in it. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. And the way we're doing it is, all this stuff's already in our Discogs categorized uh, or cataloged collection, I should say. Wait, Dad. So hold on. So uh, we plan to put everything that's already on the Discogs on the wall, Dad. and then add stuff to Discogs, and then put it on the wall Dad. to keep it organized. And then I'll have to go through and. Properly sleeve everything, clean everything. Dad, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Do you what? dare me to climb up there? No, you don't want to climb up there. <laughs> she was trying to cl climb on this earlier, and I said no. She's like, I don't want it to fall. I said, no, it's all bolted through the wall. It ain't, definitely ain't going anywhere, but it's still not good. So it could definitely hold you though. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> More stuff all in the shrink here. This stuff's in beautiful shape. Looks like it was kind of in alphabetized. I got all those birds together. Age of Electronicus. That looks cool. Interesting. <laughs> the band. Beautiful copy of the B-52s right there. Emerson Lake and Palmer, yes I know. One of our first videos, guys, on YouTube, <laughs> I said something about this band being called Tarkus. I was, uh, I was clueless. Great album, though. Nice Queen, Greatest Hits in the Shrink. Some of this stuff, you know, look at that. There's MDC. Like, some of this stuff, I have just forgot that I even had. DRI, I didn't even know I had that anymore. I got that like five years ago. Pretty great. It's awesome to go through a lot of these records that I literally just have basically had in storage and they're just in beautiful shape. Always had a an eye for grabbing or stashing away like good condition records. Nice nuclear assault. Me and Danny listen to a little bit of everything. There's a nice bonded by blood, not too bad. I think that's probably the only copy of that that I have. I've had a couple through the years that we sold in the store. I think I brought that one home. Oh yeah, uh, Ride the Lightning White Label promo. I forgot that I, yeah, okay. Picked that up in Maryland, actually. Um, I don't even know if I've ever spun it yet. That might be one that I need to, uh, I need to get on. I'm doing that one-handed, guys, but yeah. It's the old White Label promo there. Most of these records need cleaned. We're going to bring my, um, I have a VPI. So, I plan to start the process of one by one cleaning our records which is going to be agonizing that's cool we just saw jane's addiction recently danny and i opened for the smashing pumpkins that's cool this is like an import i've never seen this before um, i wish it was in a little bit better shape i remember when i got this it was a little squished see that 
It's a little squished. But I think the records were fine. Seven seconds. The Accused, that's an original. P Funk All Stars. Rock and Roll High School. Nice. Again, let us know in the comments, guys, if you want to see us as we start digging through and discog and everything. Um, these shelves here, I'm going to put my retro video game collection on. And next week, we should have furniture down here. So we're going to have furniture down here, get a TV up in here, get the VPI down here. Start bringing in our other 3,000-ish records that are upstairs. i got to carry one box at a time. Plan to fill up one box like that and carry them down the stairs. Two sets of stairs down here to the basement. We got carpet. We uh, even got the contractor to put another drain outside so we never have to worry about water getting in here. We never have before, but just in case. Keep the basement dry, keep it sweet, keep the records beautiful. We cannot wait. So, awesome guys. Thanks for hanging out with us for a short little video. Plan to get back to doing more videos. We have just been so swamped. Um, our store is actually opening a retro arcade in the back of the store. So we've been buying arcade machines. That's been a new thing too. Plan to do some videos on that stuff for you soon. Just to show you like what we're, what we're going to be up to. Again guys, please like and subscribe. And please, uh, please tune in guys on the Facebook page. Every Saturday we go live and we sell records. We have a really good time. We hang out usually 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. On our Facebook page, Back to the Media, we ship anywhere in the USA. Been doing that for like three years now. Packed and shipped over 25,000 records nationwide. So check us out. Thanks again, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.